Good day, good people. This is Phil. I upgraded the sound a little bit. I hope you enjoy it more now. In this tutorial we are going to talk PHP and the first uh, loops that we are going to work on are the while loop and the do while loop. They are very similar one to another and they are very useful as well. So let's get started. Okay, so we will start with the while loop. This is the syntax. Wait, let me um, enlarge this a little. Here we go. Okay, the while loop. First, obviously, you initialize a variable and then the while loop checks for a condition. Okay, we have the statement here and these, uh, well, the expression here and the statement here and it's a loop that can go for as long as you want it to. Okay, let's pick an example. Let's say that the weather today is at 20 degrees. So let's put degree equals 20. And now, while the weather is under 25 degree, for example, you can say it's rather warm and above 25 degree, it would be very warm. Of course, I'm talking Celsius here, okay? In, in Fahrenheit, I believe we're in winter here, okay? So, what do we say? We say while, hit enter, and then you can already see how this statement is built up, you know? So, in the first parenthesis, you put the condition, well, the expression, which is the condition. So, while degree is smaller than 25, and if this condition turns out to be true, then you should do the statement below. Okay, so while this condition turns out true, if it doesn't turn out to be true anymore, it will throw a false and just stop working on the code. Okay, so while degree is under 24, please echo out, it is rather warm at least in Europe, all right? Of course, if you're in the States, it will be cold at 25 degrees. And well, that's that's pretty much it. The, the while statement is uh, one of the simplest loops, as you will see, and it will just check for a condition and print it out. But obviously, if we do this now, degree is always under 25. You see what I'm saying? So now, if I were to I can save it now, but if I were to um, do that now, we would be in an infinite loop. And well, you will always try to avoid infinite loops because the, the browser will crash or the system will crash. It, it will just not work because it will always see, okay, degree is under 25. So what we're going to do, we will increase the degree by one every time this condition turns out to be true. Now, for the pros beyond you guys, uh, you can try and see and guess how many times this statement will be printed out. Okay, just from the logic, we're starting with 20, we will check the condition first, then we will echo out a statement and then we will increase our variable which get got set to 20 by one let's see if you were right it's rather warm one two three four five so that wasn't very clever from my part so i will throw in a break so we have a new line okay there was yeah you can you could do that or you could just do that <laughs> would be the same. Okay, here we go. Five times. It is rather warm. Okay, what happened here? Well, we started with 20. Condition turned out to be true. Statement number one. Then we have 21. Again, got printed out. Increased to 22. Again, 23, 24, 25. And the last time this statement was true was when the degree was actually put to 25 then it didn't print that out anymore because we said when it's lower than 25. So the last time it got printed out was 24. 
Then it says it's rather warm, that's this one here, and then got put to 25, the statement turned out to be false, and it quit. Okay? So the while loop is one of the simplest loops in, in any programming language, and in PHP 7 as well. And it's, uh, well, it tells PHP to execute the nested statements repeatedly as long as the while expression evaluates to true. When it evaluates to false, it won't even run anymore. All right? And obviously you can group several while statements one in another. So next thing we are going to talk about is obviously the do while statement. Okay, so we keep this, we refresh this and the do while statement is very similar there's just one difference, okay? Let's start, oh sorry, where is my slide? Here we go, present. So, for example, we have a variable and do the statement while an expression is true. So it is basically the opposite, but it's still very similar. You would see that now when we try to, to create one our own, okay? Um, as the manual says, um, do while loops are very similar to while loops, except the truth expression is checked at the end of each iteration instead of the beginning. Well, that makes a difference because let's let's do the same thing we did before. Alrighty, so do then the curly brackets, then you have the statement. So do echo. It is rather warm. Maybe you spell it right, then it's even better. Put the break in and then you will increase degree by one. So do this while degree is smaller than 25, okay? looks pretty close to what we had before. Now, let's save that, refresh, we have it five times. But what's important here is that the first one got printed out anyways. So, while the while condition first checks the, expre checks the expression, Maybe you remember, wait, let me, let me go back to our uh, while loop just for you to, to absolutely see that we're on the same page here. The while loop checks the condition first. So if the condition with the while loop is false in the beginning, you won't have the statement here printed out once, okay? So it is highly possible that while loop checks for a condition and you will not get any uh, output at all. While the do loop absolutely take, takes this expression and prints it out at least one time, even if it is false in the beginning, okay? And that is highly important. So the truth expression is checked at the end of each iteration instead of the beginning. And this is, well, this is basically what, what does the difference here. And um, that's just one syntax for the do while loop and that's the one that I showed you here. And well, the loop execution ends um, when it's false. So let's try and print this out and make it false. So it is rather warm, degree gets increased. While degree, um, let's say, under 20. Why not? No, thanks. Boom. So we have once. Okay. So even though this condition set, just do it while degree is under 20, it gets printed out once because, well, first we said do this and then we check for the condition. I can put in anything here basically. I could say even if it's under 10, this gets printed out at least once because well, expression first, condition then. This might have some sense 
depending on your use case. So there might be cases where you wanted to do this at least once before printing it out. But in this case, for example, it wouldn't be very useful because it's not rather warm since, well, condition is false. All right, people, that's it for today. I hope this was helpful for you and I see you around in the next tutorial.